Good afternoon. Today we will be studying part 5 of chapter 4, Traditional Logic. In this part we will be studying a version, the second type of deduction. What is aversion? Aversion is an inference in which the subject term in the conclusion remains the same as the subject term in the premise. But the predicate of the conclusion is complementary, that is contradictory to the predicate term in the premise. Premise is called aborted. And the conclusion is called verse. Let us study the rules of aversion. The first rule is the rule of quality. The quality of the verse, that is the conclusion, must change from the original proposition, that is the premise. If the premise is affirmative, the conclusion must be negative and if the premise is negative, then the conclusion must be affirmative. Now, let us see the second rule of aversion, that is the rule of quantity. The quantity of the verse, that is the conclusion, must remain the same as the original proposition, that is the premise. If the premise is universal proposition, then the conclusion must also be universal proposition. And if the premise is a particular proposition, then the conclusion must also be a particular proposition. Now we come to the third rule of aversion, that is the rule of predicate term. The predicate term of a verse, that is the conclusion, must be complementary, that is contradictory, to the predicate of the original proposition, that is the premise. So, if in the original proposition, the predicate is P, then in the conclusion, the predicate will be non-P, which is complementary to P. Now we'll learn the table of aversion. The avertent is the given proposition and the obverse is the conclusion. Suppose the words used in the proposition are all, every, any, always, each, whoever, whatever, etc. Then it's an A proposition. Suppose the basic form of A proposition is given. All S is P. Then its obverse will be E. That is, the basic form will be no S is non P. Now, suppose in the given proposition, words like no, not a single, not even one, never, none, not at all are used, then it's an E proposition. Suppose the basic symbolic form of E is given to you as no S is P, then its obverse will be A, that is all S is non-P. Now suppose the words used in the given proposition are some, a few, many, mostly, several, often, generally, frequently, etc. Then it's an I proposition. And suppose the basic form of I proposition is given as some SSP, then its obverse will be O, that is some S is not non-P. Now suppose the words like some not, few, rarely, scarcely, hardly, seldom, 
are used in a given proposition, then the proposition is O proposition. Suppose the basic form of O proposition is given as sum S is not P, then its obverse will be I, that is sum S is non P. Let us take few examples to understand how to write obverse of the given proposition with the help of the table. Before that, we have to note that in obverse, the quantity remains the same, whereas the quality changes and the predicate becomes complementary to the original predicate. Let us take the first example. All pigs are dirty. Here the word all is used in the proposition. So it's an A proposition. Obverse of A is E because both are having the same quantity but different quality. And the predicate of the given proposition is dirty. Its complementary will be non-dirty. Now the symbolic form of E proposition will be no S is non-P. So obverse is no pigs are non-dirty. Second, no cats are dogs. Your no is you, so it's an E proposition. Obverse of E is A because both are having the same quantity and different quality. That is, E is negative, whereas A is affirmative. Here, the predicate of the given proposition is dogs. Complementary of dogs is non-dogs. And the symbolic form of A proposition is all S is non-P. So the obverse is all cats are non-dogs. Third, some pens are green. The sum is used, so it's an I proposition. Its obverse will be O because both are having the same quantity but different quality. I is affirmative, whereas O is negative. Now, here the predicate is green. Its complementary will be non-green. And the symbolic form of O will be sum S is not non-P. So, the obverse is some pens are not non-green. Now we come to the fourth. Some dresses are not comfortable. Your sum and not is used. So it's an O proposition. And obverse of O is I. Because both are particular propositions having the same quantity and different quality. That is O is negative whereas I is affirmative. And here the predicate is comfortable. So complementary of comfortable is non-comfortable. And the symbolic form of I is sum, S is non-P. So, verse is some dresses are non-comfortable. Now, fifth, each student is present. In this proposition, the word each is used. So, it's an A proposition. Then, its obverse will be E. And the predicate of this proposition is the word present. Its complementary will be non-present. Okay? And when you are writing the obverse of A, that is E, you should write it in a singular term since it is given as singular term in the a proposition. So now we'll write it as E as no S is non-P. So no student is non-present. Now we come to the sixth one. Not even one bus is purple. Not even one is given in the proposition. So it's an E proposition. Its obverse will be A and its predicate given proposition's predicate will be purple. 
its uh, complementary of purple will be non purple so when you are writing it transforming it into a proposition you must write it in a singular term only because the given proposition e is in singular term so a bus will be every bus is non purple now we come to seven mostly houses are small your mostly word is used in i proposition so it's an i proposition and its obverse will be o proposition so here directly you can do mostly with not is o proposition or you can reduce this transform this into basic symbolic form and then write its obverse both are correct so now here the predicate is small so its complementary will be non small so the the obverse will be mostly houses are not non small now we come to the a rarely movies are good rarely word is used so it's an o proposition but rarely with not is doesn't sound grammatically correct so what we do we transform this into the basic symbolic form that is some s is not p some movies are not good now you can write the obverse of o that is i which is some s is p and here the predicate is good so its complementary you will be writing in obverse so you write it as some movies are non good let's take the ninth example books are always friends always word is used in this proposition so it's a a proposition obverse of a is e so always becomes never in e and friends is the predicate of the original proposition its complementary will be non friends so the obverse will be books are never non friends next 10 hard work is never wasted never is used in the proposition so it's an e proposition its obverse is a never becomes always and the predicate here is wasted so its complementary will be non wasted so obvious this hard work is always non wasted 11 a few rides are enjoyable a few is used in i proposition so it's an i proposition and its obvious will be o where a few not will be used and predicate is enjoyable its complementary will be non enjoyable so its a few riders sorry a few rides are not non enjoyable now we come to 12th every glittering thing is not gold every with not is o proposition so your it's better to reduce it to the basic form like some some glittering thing is not gold and now you can make its obverse that is i and the predicate is gold so its complementary will be non gold and obverse is some glittering thing is non gold now 13th any school is an educational institution here any is used in the proposition so it's an a proposition its obverse is e since the given proposition is in a singular term the obverse should be in a singular term here the predicate is institution educational institution so its complementary will be non educational institution so we'll write the obverse as no school is a non educational institution now we come to 14 a few insects are not tiny a few and not is used so it's an o proposition its obverse will be i where only a few will be used and the predicate is tiny its complementary will be non tiny so obverse is a few insects are non tiny 15 not a single basket is full 
not a single is used so it's an e proposition here it is given in singular term so the its obverse is a and it should be in a singular term and the predicate is full so its complementary will be non full so the obverse will be written as every basket is non full now we come to 16 children frequently are computer savvy this is frequently word used here in the proposition so it's an i proposition and obverse of i is o where not frequently will be used and the predicate is computer savvy its complementary will be non computer savvy so the obverse will be written as children are not frequently non computer savvy here you have to note that do directly or you can reduce the given proposition into the basic symbolic form and then write its obverse both are correct now we come to the next all men are biped all is used so it's an a proposition its obverse is e proposition and the predicate is biped so obverse will be no s is non p so it will be no men are non biped 18 no leaf is yellow so no is used so it's an e proposition of verse is a and in, uh, it should be a singular term since it is given in the given proposition it is a singular term so it will be any or every or and the predicate is yellow so it will the complementary of yellow is non yellow so every leaf is non yellow 19 adolescent are often curious so often word is used in i proposition so it's an i proposition its obverse will be o where not often will be used or you can reduce this into basic symbolic form some ssp and then write its obverse both are correct now here it will be curious will be uh, its complementary will be non curious which is the predicate adolescents are not often non curious 20 many people are not humble here many and not is used so it's an o proposition and its obverse will be i and predicate is humble which will whose complementary will be non humble so the obverse will be many people are non humble so we have learned how to write the obverse of the given proposition in this session thank you